<laughs> I'd heard about that. I mean, it really is all about cleaning out our system, right? And he shared the way he and his wife do this um, cleanse, and he said they do it every week. Um, is they have they eat um, up until dinner on Wednesday. They have dinner Wednesday, and you know then they go to bed like they normally would. But really, after dinner on Wednesday is when their fast is beginning. So they'll wake up the next morning. They will fast through Thursday, and then they go to bed that night. Now, some people might just break their fast Thursday, and, and that would be like a 24-hour fast. So you could do that, and that's gonna have some health benefits. What they do is they make it 36 hours, so they'll then go until um, an early dinner time on Friday. He said they'll usually have dinner around three or four, and sometimes I think he said on Friday, like he and his wife will always go for a massage. You know, it's, it's gotten to be a weekly thing. So they treat themselves to self-care and they do all of this stuff and blah, 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 blah. Now, during your fasts, it's not that you're eating nothing. In fact, <laughs> I was the first thing I said, I'm like, can I have this while, while I'm doing that fasting? And so they, had, they say, yes, you can do this. You do the cleanse, which is, it's like a juice. I've tried it. Um, you do that four times a day. You can also have these um, Isa Delights. Now this is if you use Isogenics product. You don't need to do this. You can still, you can do this on your own if you want. And then you figure out what you would have that would still keep you in a fasted state. You know, some people do fasting with, um, and they have fat bombs. There's, uh, you know, like, like bulletproof coffee, stuff like that. Um, there's odd science. It doesn't seem to make sense that that would work, but it, it does. So I'm just telling you what, what within isogenics what they say hey use these products it'll get you through the day and that way you're you're flushing the toxins out of your system but you're keeping your cravings at bay blah 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 so they have these isa delights that i actually just had one before this video they're about this big and they're these delicious delicious candies um and so you can have that you can have this you can have your coffee and also they just came out with this collagen bone broth so you can have bone broth and yeah then that's essentially and and he mentioned this autophagy um, that what happens when your body goes past a 24-hour fast it's there's autophagy that's going on now i did some googling on that and I, again that's something i want him as a scientist to, to go into um, because autophagy can um, encourage more fat loss as well um, but it again is you'll see if you do some googling it's about flushing out the toxins you don't want to go too extreme this isn't about fasting for five days um, but I was to me I came away from that going I'm gonna start doing this once a week and I told my man about it and he's gonna do it now he's not gonna do a 36 hour fast every week he's gonna do the 24 hour fast but he's committed to uh, improving his health and wellness with me. He loves the Isogenics products. He also um, has a fat loss goal that he wants to reach. So, um, and he's just a supportive, amazing man. So that's where I was coming from when I mentioned to you guys, I learned a lot about cleansing. Like I have a totally different view on it. It's not some crazy, do this so that you shed fat faster. It's much more about health and wellness first those benefits, those long-term anti-aging wellness benefits first, but it also can enhance what you're doing from a weight loss perspective. And back to what I said before a second ago about the holidays, caloric deficit, that can also enhance what you're doing with planning to keep your calories at a normal place so you can go and enjoy you know, the holidays. And let me close with this, when we're talking about heading into the holidays. If you decide like you want to join me because i'm just going to put it out there i didn't think about this until i was coming home on the plane and then i'm like you know what i'm just going to ask people to join me because why not go into the holidays fired up and, and whatever that looks like for each one of you right we're all doing different workouts and and whatever we don't all have to be on the same program but this is a way of like leveling up and saying i'm going to be proactive going into the holidays like i'm going to go into the holidays feeling good about what I'm eating and that I, because guess what? When your diet is is on point, like you're, you're moving and grooving in the right direction, doesn't mean you have to be perfect. You will do more working out. I guarantee you, my working out, for the most part the past several months has been affected by me having chronic migraines. Like when I have been immobile laying on the couch, that's why I haven't worked out. And then if it was Friday and I felt better, 
I wouldn't work out because I was so scared that getting my heart rate up and doing a lot of movement would bring the migraines back. And my migraines are so bad, I would do anything to make them not come back. But I also know when I get in a like fall off the wagon type of a situation and I'm not consistent in my training, um, when my diet is off, I'm less inclined to work out because I just mentally and physically feel worse in my body than when I'm eating right. So I encourage all of you guys, ladies, to join me in heading into the holidays and committing to figuring out your caloric deficit, committing to giving yourself 90 days of monitoring your caloric deficit. It doesn't mean you have to be perfect. Even that Jordan Syed guys like aim for 90%, 90% over the course of a month. Like, can you look back over the course of the month and go 90% of, of this time I was hitting my macros or I was hitting you know my caloric window. And, and back to what I just started to say a second ago, you head into the holidays, you start kicking ass. Don't wait until January. Don't make yourself feel worse and gain weight going into the holidays. Get control, start giving yourself some successes now. Start feeling better and investing in your health now because wouldn't it be great to like be five pounds lighter by, by Christmas? I mean, wouldn't it feel great to be able to go into Thanksgiving instead of obsessing about what you're gonna deny yourself and be able to just say, I'm gonna enjoy this day. And you know what? If, say you plan for Thanksgiving and you plan for 3,000 calories, right? And you don't really cut the 200 calories out the rest of the day or the rest of the week. And then maybe you actually eat more um, on Thanksgiving and, and you know you go back and you're like, wow, I had, I had all those cookies. And then maybe you look up the calories of something and you realize like this piece of pie was 500. And maybe you look and you're like, wow, I had three pieces of pie and like you overdid it, right? And, and so for the week, instead of being at your caloric deficit, you were over by 500 calories. The key is at least number one, you're successful because you know, like you know that data is, I love the way Jordan talks about it because data is so magic. It's so different to be frustrated with where you're at frustrated with how your pants fit, frustrated with how your workouts, or excuse me, workout clothes fit, but not know, not be able to go back and go, well, here's the deal. Here's how many workouts I had last week. Here's what I ate last week. Here's what I'm eating. When you have a data point and you say you go through Thanksgiving week, you know exactly what you ate and, and you said, you know what? I did four workouts that week and I planned to have I'm just putting a number out, 5,000 calories that week, but I had 6,000. So I had an extra thousand. Let me see how I can, you know, balance that out this week. And then it's data. You do better the next week as opposed to having no idea what you did, throwing in the towel, binging, whatever. You start looking at yourself like a scientific experiment and you're managing yourself. It's so different. I mean, I think about football. I've become this person who's really understanding as I watch football with my man, how much like planning and science and strategy goes into football. I used to think it was a bunch of guys just throwing a football around. I'm like, how difficult can that be? There's so much more that goes into football and coaching in those games and knowing that everybody that's watching those games, all those coaches before the games, they were watching the game, past games of other teams and they're, they're memorizing how they, they throw in certain scenarios and that's going to inform how they tell those football players to plan. And then, so there's that amount of planning that they do and then they get out on the field and then they look across from each other and they're like, oh wait, these guys are lined up this way. And then they're whispering to each other and then they're changing because of what they see. And then once the ball gets in motion, then you have to do, apply a whole other level of strategy. It's the same thing with weight loss. Like go into where you want to be with your body armed with knowledge and data. It, it also, here's the, here's the real key ladies. We get so emotionally attached to how we view ourselves. We are, you know, how many of you like me are terrified to get on the scale because you don't want to know what that number is. You know why? Because we don't look at that as a, as a, measure of data, we look at it as a label. So the more that you can look at yourself as like, I'm a human body, my body responds to certain variables, and I'm gonna start studying myself and seeing 
finding that perfect fit of food and exercise that's gonna work for me because I'm different from Gail, I'm different from Tracy, I'm different from Kim, I'm different from um, Diane, I'm different from every single one of you. What works for me, that's why if you hear me say, hey, my caloric window is 1400 to 1600, Julie Bevel should not apply that to herself because you know why? She's like five inches taller than me. She should probably have a lot more calories than me. It's different for each one of us. You've got to find that, but how can you tweak your data and how can you tweak what you're doing if you don't have any idea what you're doing from a data perspective? Data helps take the emotion out of what we're doing. And the more we can take emotion out of this fat loss journey, I just, I know that, that, that you, can, you can get there, I can get there. And it's just such a great feeling, ladies. I cannot tell you how good it feels to be heading into the holidays going, I've got this. Because if you know me, you've seen me share. I am as vulnerable and authentic as I possibly can be on social media. And I tell you guys, I will say, I am so frustrated, I keep working, I, I work out, I, I do this, I do that, I can't seem to lose weight. I will tell you, I have never felt so certain. And I'm not saying I feel certain because of a certain product. I'm using the products that I use because I believe in this company and because they enhance what I'm doing. But like if I'd never discovered them, I'd just be using products that I bought at Vitamin Shopper or, or whatever. That's that's a side note. Um, so what I'm doing is taking this caloric deficit seriously, committing to 90 days. My man is coming in the door. You can come in, babe. Committing to 90 days. I think that's him. Maybe not. Committing to the caloric deficit, committing to 90 days. You can keep coming in, just, I'm shooting. Okay. You're so cute, you're so cute. So committing to caloric deficit, committing to 90 days, committing to um, doing the, the, not the fast, the, the cleanse, which is essentially fasting every Wednesday. Um, I love your outfit. He makes fun of me when I do that. You're so hot. Um, and then, um, sorry, I get distracted when I see my man. So 90 days, caloric deficit, doing the cleanse, and going into the holidays, like just knowing you're going to dominate. I mean, what could be a better feeling? Let me see. Lisa. Oh, hi, Lisa. I didn't say hi to you earlier. Um, Tracy. Uh, oh, you need macro help with macros. Yeah. So for those of you that are new, don't worry about macros. Just keep it simple and start with caloric deficit. I strongly recommend you guys go watch those Jordan Syatt videos and listen to his podcast. I will link those up below. I'll also link up below um, my Isogenics um, health story so you can watch that. And then lastly, for any of you, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. If you're gonna join me and do this with me, it doesn't really matter when you start. Like if you watch this next Monday, you can start then, it doesn't matter. The point is that you're gonna start and you're gonna commit. Just like, you know, if you join this group now, we didn't all start our commitment to a year of you first on the same day. You just start, okay? So what I'm gonna encourage you to do is, if you're down for doing this before the holidays, you're so cute. <laughs> if you're down for doing this before the holidays and not doing that bullshit thing like, oh, I'm just gonna wait until January and I'm gonna get fit then, I want you to let me know either in the comments or I, I almost don't want to say this because you shouldn't feel uncomfortable leaving this in the comments. This is why I created this private group. But if you do want to private message me, you can let me know. I'm also more than happy to um, make recommendations. If you want to go full in and also use the Isogenic system that I'm using, um, I can make recommendations as far as the protein powders. They've got plant-based protein powders the cleanse products, if you wanna be doing the cleanse products. I know some of you are already placing an order with me later today. I can tell you what I'm using, what I recommend. Um, that way, if you're gonna be doing the cleanse every Wednesday with me, um, you can be using the bone broth, you can be using the energy drink, you can be using the Isa Delights, you can make your own coffee. Um, you know, we can check in here. I'm gonna check in here whether I have three people doing this with me or whether I have one. Um, it doesn't matter. I'm going to share my results and where I'm at and how I'm planning to, you know, 
how, do, how am I gonna plan so that I eat whatever I want? Because I'll tell you what, I'm gonna be having my broccoli, cheese, redneck casserole for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna have my pumpkin spice whoopie cookies. I'm gonna have my Christmas spice wine that my man makes fun of. I'm gonna have all the sweets and treats that I want, but I'm also gonna hit my caloric deficit and get my workouts in and do a cleanse every Wednesday. Um, so I am super, super, super excited. And I hope all of you, sincerely, I really wanna give you this invitation, join me. So leave in the comments below if you're ready to do this. If you need help, with figuring out your caloric deficit, I'm happy to help you just as a friend. Um, number three, if you wanna go all in and take things up a notch and level up your nutrition, I'm happy to do a call with you and make recommendations for Isogenics products. Everything's backed by a 30 day money back guarantee, so you really have nothing to lose. Um, and then lastly, I think I went over everything. Oh, if you have questions specifically on the cleanse, on autophagy, on fasting, intermittent fasting, all of that stuff. I am gonna have Dr. Plant on the podcast. I just don't have the date yet. Um, so more information will be coming uh, soon. Now I've gotta stop talking because it's already starting to get dark here. So um, it was really good seeing all of you guys here. For those of you guys that are watching on the replay, please make sure you leave comments below. Let me know what questions you have and I will put links up to everything I mentioned shortly. I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you're excited.